Hello and welcome to News Today with Jeff Ahern. I'm your host, Jeff Ahern. Today's top story. Dems made a big show of having the National Guard protect the Capitol during Joe Biden's inauguration, even though attendees were much more likely to die of boredom than a right-wing extremist. It was the Dems' way of saying, we're in control now. It is ironic that after months of vilifying law enforcement and the National Guard during Democrat insurrections, they now pretend to love them. But their contempt for our military still shows through. After a 12-hour shift of protecting nothing from nobody, Guard members were made to self-park themselves at the Thurgood Marshall Judicial Center parking garage. I guess the courtyard of the Courtyard Marriott was booked. And why name a parking garage after Thurgood Marshall? He at least deserves a walkway. Sorry, Dems, but it's not okay to make the lives of our National Guard miserable simply to try and create the appearance of a non-existent crisis. Prior to this show of farce, Dems also wanted background checks of Guard members for radicalism. Like what? Images of the American flag on their social media pages? Nothing more scary to a liberal than love of country, because you tend to want to defend it from those who don't. And Democrats, the expression is thank you for your service, not simply serve us. Don't confuse them with your clone army, the mainstream media, who are even now carrying out Order 66 on whatever's left of free speech and capitalism. I'm sure there are those in the Democrat Party who do respect the men and women of our military, though their party will no longer let them say, men and women. But true respect is what four Republican governors did. They called them home. They're not props. They're people. And like the rest of America, they deserve better than you've been giving them.